This idea is at least 275 years old, but moreover, it has been rediscovered at least 50 times that I can find, often founding fields and by people who would be very famous if I were to mention them. And they all call it something different. But I don't think that's why the idea is unknown. I think it's unknown because it goes against our cultural ideals, our personal experience, and the way the brain works. What is the idea? That imagination isn't what we think, it's how we think. Now, I'd like to go to the originators of this, and that would be David Hume and Immanuel Kant, who noted that the imagination is situated between our perceptions and our understanding. As Kant wrote in 1780, that we do not see the world the way it is. We see the world according to to our instruments. This also could have been a quote from Daniel Kahneman's best-selling book, Thinking Fast and Slow, in 2011, which kind of gives you an idea of where we are with this. Well, first, most people wouldn't disagree with that. They go, well, yeah, of course. I don't see as well as an eagle. I don't hear or smell as well as my dog does. Our perceptions are limited. But Kant and Kahneman are saying something much more important. They're saying that our instruments of perception, our instruments of understanding are such that some things are gonna be quite easy for us to perceive and understand. Some are a little bit difficult, and some of them are going to be impossible. It means the universe around us is hidden in plain sight. We can't see it. And this might raise some disagreement because you can see me standing up here and I can see you and we're in this room and, and that's reality, right? That's what's real. And yet most of you, I'm sure, know about Piaget and his experiments in which he would find out that young children saw a different world. He would take a glass of water and he'd take a container and he'd pour the water into it. And then he'd ask the small child, which one has more? And the child would point at this one and go, well, this one has more because it's higher. And of course, higher is more. And we, as we all know, more is better. There were other experiments that are not as well known. One of them involved a, a ball, and it's on a string, and if you spin it around and let it go, my question to you, will it go straight or will it curve or will it do something else? Think about that, because we're gonna try it. Now, it's styrofoam, so mostly safe. 